You'll see here Victoria who's uh, scanning what we call a jelly baby phantom. Now, these phantoms are quite expensive, a few thousand pounds each, but they're a really good way of allowing students to get that spatial awareness, that hand-eye coordination. But this time Victoria is scanning using a real ultrasound machine. So she's learning how to operate all the relevant controls on the machine. So the transabdominal simulator is a great starting point. They're great for brand new students who've never really been in ultrasound before. Great way to start to learn the anatomy, how this relates to ultrasound, and again, learn this sort of spatial awareness, hand-eye coordination that's required and one of the required skills for being a competent sonographer. We do tend to combine the abdominal work with some consented live models, which we would use the machine on the previous clip that we can use to scan consented live models. But on this scan, Yasin's learning how to scan the right kidney and use the liver as like a window. So you can see there's some rib shadowing on this image and he's learning how to navigate those ribs, which is one of the technical challenges. You'll see on the right screen is a, is a virtual abdomen. So that's how an abdomen would look usually with the patient lying next to you. And the haptic device is where the simulated transducer is that, that the students are able to navigate around that virtual abdomen. This is one of our students, Tom, who's learning how to use the transvaginal ultrasound simulators. And I'm sure you can appreciate that transvaginal scanning can offer some embarrassment to both the student and the patient when people are in those preliminary stages of their training. Now, ultrasound requires quite a skill in terms of spatial awareness. And you'll see here, Tom is, is using the simulator. And on the right, you'll see that the virtual anatomy shows how the ultrasound beam is scanning through that anatomy. So on, above that, you can see actually then that how that relates to anatomical planes. 